Supercast. Let's take a look at our Springfield live camera this morning, 7.13 a.m. Seeing that cloud cover still hanging around, but we will get some sunshine in the later hours of the day. And our Chicopee live camera showing us a bit of a similar view, but we're getting already a peak of sun. You can't see it over here, but it's just behind the camera. That's why the trees are looking so bright this morning. 22 New Storm Team forecast focus showing us today. Clouds continue, but no rain. We had a couple sprinkles yesterday, not expecting that throughout the day today and tomorrow. It's the Monday eclipse. Lips, sunshine, temperatures well into the 60s. And we're starting off pretty warm, but we are having a wet midweek. And yes, I did have to look up if midweek was one word. I don't know if that was just me, but that was very confusing when I was typing that out. 22 New Storm Team ESP live Doppler radar showing no rain now. Not expecting any later. We'll show you why with our clouds and radar. Seeing a little bit of cloud cover moving through, but other than a little rain on the eastern side of Massachusetts, not expecting any wet weather today. Temperatures now mainly in the mid to high 30s, 36 in Northampton, 37 in Westfield, 38 in Springfield, Berkshire County, showing us a bit cooler temperatures, Pittsfield and Great Barrington, both at 32. And these temperatures throughout the day are going to increase, only peaking in the low 50s, closer to about three or four o'clock. But we'll see those 40 degree temperatures well into the late hours in the morning, and then could even see those 50s in the early afternoon. As for the solar eclipse, that's what lots of people are talking about now. The path of totality does not end up making its way into Massachusetts, but where we are, we are going to be getting 94% of the sun covered. That's about as good as you get around the country, but just a couple hours north going over here to Vermont, you could get full totality, which doesn't come around every so often. It's going to be more than 20 years until we see that again. And me and 22 New Storm Team meteorologist Adam Shremko are going to be right here right here and we're going to be giving you a great view of that totality and show you exactly what all the hype is about 22 new storm team skycast showing us 7 a.m this morning seeing that cloud cover and i'd like to say it goes away in the early afternoon but by 12 p.m this afternoon i can't say that that's true we're still going to be seeing some cloud cover but getting closer to the evening just before sunset we can see some places are mainly going to be uh, clear instead of seeing all that cloud cover. And then by the overnight, 12 a.m. Monday morning, we can see we do start to clear things up. 6 a.m. Monday, we're going to be seeing this clear trend throughout the day. Maybe a little bit of cloud cover at 12 p.m. on Monday, but mostly sunny for throughout most of the day tomorrow. Not seeing a lot of clouds, even at eclipse time, 3.27 p.m. Not seeing a lot of clouds but hopefully the clouds that are around are not in your area. 9 p.m. Monday evening, cloud cover does start to come back around, but just as quickly as, as it comes, it's as quickly as it leaves. 6 a.m. Tuesday morning, going throughout the day on Tuesday, expecting another pretty clear day on Tuesday as well. Our forecast for today, 48 to 52, sun and clouds, bit of a mix, more sun in the later hours. And as for tonight, mostly cloudy skies, 24 to 30 is our range of lows. And our 22 New Storm Team 7-day forecast showing us we do have that chance of wet weather coming in the middle of this week, especially on Friday, expecting a lot of rain on Friday and Thursday. But as for the beginning of the work week, Monday and Tuesday it looking nice and dry with some sunny conditions. A high of 50 today is not exactly is not exactly seasonal, but Monday and Tuesday are feeling a lot more like spring. Sunny skies, temperatures in the mid to high 60s, but we drop back down to the 50s on Wednesday with a chance of showers starting up and then really ramping up as you go through the end of the work week on Thursday and Friday. But we are going to be seeing warmer temperatures through the end of the work week before getting a nice sunny Saturday with temperatures dropping back into the high 50s. And if you want to know when rain's hitting your area, you can check out our website, wwlp.com, or download the free 